Okay, um, our second guest is Dr. Chinwe Keuba, a financial analyst and chairman of Amaka Chinwe Keuba Foundation. Good morning and welcome to the program, sir. Mr. Uba, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. All right. Okay. We are having some kind of deja vu moment, just like in 1984, uh, which is coincidentally in Buhari's first coming as it is, redesigning the Naira. Now it's going to be done this year again, and we're starting, we're going to start using the new Naira nodes in the middle of December and in January. Do you think this is a priority for us that we should take at this moment? Uh, I think uh, it may not be appropriate to ask whether it's a priority or not, um, because we have other very important uh, challenges facing the country in terms of what we need funding for and all that. But beyond that, it's also to, it's important to look at it from the perspective of what is going to achieve and what is not going to achieve. In terms of what is going to achieve, the CBN governor did say that. Uh, the major purpose is to ensure that uh, we will bring in funds that are outside the banking uh, sector into the financial institution sector, you know, address the issue of ransom paying and all the rest of it all. Good. But the other question is, at what cost? So in terms of whether it's important at this moment, while well, we say the timing is relatively not uh, the best of the time to do this, that's because of where we are in terms of uh, the need for money for more challenging uh, things that are facing the nation at this time in, in our life. Well, but they, it is said that um, this redesigning or printing of new notes or something like that should be done like in every five years. It has not been done for like 10 years or more. Uh, so some might say it is justified. But another question, like you said, is the cost. And even the cost of printing Naira notes is very staggering because it's not long ago we saw the CBN saying that it used 58.6 billion Naira to print 2.5 billion Naira notes that amounted to 1 point something trillion Naira. Is it really worth it to spend that amount of money, especially at a time when we're neck deep in debt? You know, that's that, that the point I tried to make earlier. The timing is not the most appropriate, you know. Now we have a lot of financial challenges, make deep in debt. Uh, with the flooding and all the rest of it, all inflation and where it is, and the uh, standard of living at its lowest end. Uh, I think uh, that money, the fund that will be expended to printing new notes would have been also be used to address fundamental issues that will help us also to deal with other macroeconomic issues. As, we, as, as, as you know, exchange rate has been on a, uh, so volatile just because of our productivity level, you know, patient by low exports that has also reduced our for, for ringgit. So if such funds are deployed, to creating an enabling environment and supporting businesses and individuals that will lead to increased productivity in the economy. That would have helped us to address some very fundamental problems that we are having, such as increasing unemployment, the poverty level, and even the security challenges that we have, which partly is a function of the level of unemployment that we have and not the rest of it all. So in terms of um, whether the fund, the, 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 the expense is ideal, as I said earlier on, the timing is not the most appropriate. Such funds would have been deployed to, to more, more important uh, aspects of our lives now, not just going to bring some funds. Okay, um, the government is saying, according to the uh, governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, that, like you mentioned, hoarding of uh, 2 trillion naira out of the 3 trillion naira in circulation. So that means that money is kept in private homes, not banks. They also say aging of naira notes is another factor, security issues, 
uh, for like ransom payment by kidnappers, monetary policy of recycling banknotes every five years, like I mentioned before, not recycled for 10 years now, and fake notes in circulation, among others. First of all, um, do you believe that two trillion is in houses instead of in banks? And if you do, why do you think that is? Uh, I don't have the, the, I'm not one of the security agents, I'm, I'm not the, the CBN governor. But we've had definitely storing funds in their uh, tanks, in their homes, on that house and all that. So, and we know that they, uh, some statistics also show that most my like, these guys will also have a way of bringing these funds into the banking sector. In fact, they, they, they won't go, go Bank. The banks would go to their respective homes to pick these funds. And as soon as this redesigning is completed, they'll still withdraw the funds. So I think what CBN should be more interested in is to find a way to increase uh, electronic banking. Because just last night I did a transfer to an account at about 6.35 p.m. in the evening. That money has not gotten to the residence account as I'm speaking with you now. And which is also part of the reasons why people are keeping their monies at home or wherever and all the rest of it all, even though it's not justified. But the truth is that we have a lot of funds sitting in people's homes and offices that and not that that plan people's homes also to recycle it to those who need the funds for more important things. So it's a good thing, but for me, as I said, as I said earlier, on the timing is not the most appropriate, given the need that we have as a country now, and the more the funds we are going to. Waste. But but how would you? Well, 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 how would you? How would you rate? That I'm not sure that the the. the Uh, Mr. Uba, I'm, I'm just curious, how would you rate the performances yeah. performances of the banking se sector, for instance? How would you rate the level of service to the people? A lot of people, for instance, uh, maybe because we are not very aware, uh, see some of the, the charges of banks as being unnecessary sometimes you you have a savings account and instead of getting something on your saving account you end up losing f because of bank charges a, a atm card a maintenance a bank maintenance what kind of charges have we not seen so how would you rate the services of the banking sector against the um, confidence that people have or do not have in the banking system well, I'll rate it 50 percent. 50 in the research. Uh, a weakness in the regulatory uh, agencies here, this is in being another lab at ACC. I'm in those chat. Yes. And that's a means of making more funds. And you see some charges that you can't really trace. You know, you can't attribute in the service from the bank and all that. Unfortunately, like I said, there is so need to do a lot to address some of these issues. I just spoke about the transfer I did yesterday which are uh, this money, as I'm, as I'm speaking with you, that has not gotten to the regulatory account. Now, 
how would you encourage financial penetration and confidence in the uh, customers in the banking sector not to keep the cash or to when they are not sure in that what your your services will meet their requirements and expectations. So that those are the issues. So rating them is just fifty percent, and there's a whole lot that needs to, that still needs to be done to address those kinds of issues. Okay, uh, we'd like to thank you, Mr. Oba, for coming on our show today and sharing your thoughts on this new uh, thing that is coming up: redesigning of the Naira. We do hope that you are going to join us any other time that we have need to explain more on what is happening in the financial sector. Thank you very much for being a part of the show. Well, ladies Thank you. And, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a short break. When we return, we'll return with the news. And after the news, we'll meet our final guest, who is a young entrepreneur. And we use people of this ilk to just encourage you and tell you that no matter how young, you can be a success story to yourself and your society. Stay with us.